Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another big update. Um, first, wanted to congratulate all the wrestlers for all their efforts last week. Uh, the kids at all the schools have participated in uh, Grand Junction High School for winning the state title. That's amazing. That's really, really cool and fun. Uh, I know I was actually with a few of your principals out at a conference while all that was going on, and they were glued to their phones with all the updates, so it was really exciting. Uh, you know, a couple things we get started here. Just wanted to uh, send out our prayers and thoughts for all the folks in Florida with the school shooting. Uh, certainly something that when we see those type of things remind us of the due diligence that we need to take in our work. Um, you know, as you probably heard yesterday, we're actually adding some security guards, uh, security uh, folks, private security out to our schools. Uh, really not in response to a threat, but more really just to have more eyes uh, out there and, and making sure that if there is an issue, we have folks that are around to help out our school administrators. So we're, we're adding more to high schools. We're actually gonna flood those into some middle schools and, and just be a support. So, you know, when you see those folks coming out, uh, that, that's what they're there for. Uh, we actually had some allocated dollars in the budget and, uh, and that would allow us to hire some even earlier in the year and, and we're getting that done. One thing I would ask, and this is something that keeps coming up, uh, you know, as a school system, it's really incumbent upon us to do our due diligence as, as teachers and uh, the classified folks, support staff, administrators, you know, if a door needs to be shut, please make sure the doors are shut. Um, if you see something going on, notify your administrators, notify somebody, let them know what's going on. And of course, you know, one of the key things that, that we know that really takes care of a lot of these issues is the relationships that we have with kids. Because uh, kids are really the eyes and ears of a school. They're going to know what's going on a long time before the adults will, most likely. And if you have those relationships, they're more likely to let you know what's going on. Also, I would talk to your kids about the safe to tell options so they can get on safe to tell and make a report. Uh, we get those uh, very rapidly when they're, when they're made and we can actually send people out to have a conversation with kids or other entities around what's going on. We can notify law enforcement. We can do those type of things to keep everybody safe. So I would ask that you, you really do that. So, you know, as we move forward, you're going to see more folks out there. You're going to uh, kind of see a heightened sense, which, uh, you know, Again, it's something we should be doing all the time, but uh, these type of events really remind us that you know, we, we don't want this to happen in our community, and we're going to be working closely with everybody here to make sure it doesn't. So, you know, that, that's one thing. I, one of the other things that's come up right now is obviously all the hiring. Um, we're almost done with phase one interviews for all of our hiring with our reorganization. Uh, we'll be done with those hopefully by this Wednesday, so I'm anticipating getting something out uh, Thursday or Friday to the staff to let you know where we are with hiring and uh, to kind of set the stage for phase two. Uh, it's been a, a long and, and interesting process so far. We've had a lot of great candidates, both internally and externally, and we're really trying to get the best folks in the right positions uh, to make sure that we can move our implementation of our D51 learning model forward. And we're excited about that, uh, but it's, it is gonna take us a little while to get through it. Um, I think my original timeline was a little ambitious, uh, just in fact, you know, getting people here and finding the right time on the calendar to do the interviews. Uh, but we're moving through it as quickly as we can, and, and we'll, I'll definitely keep communicating out where we are with that. So, you know, those are a couple things going on. Um, as we approach the, the end of the month and we're, we're getting ready to go into spring break and then testing and all that kind of stuff, I, I just want to remind people, you know, that our, our little guys are all human beings and, and you know, we, they don't need any more stress, you don't need any more stress. So, you know, take some time to, you know, take a little bit of time, get to know your kids and talk a little bit more and, and, and go into this, this part of the year with um, just uh, good thoughts about where we can go and where our D51 learning model is taking us and where we are as a system because all those testing things, they'll really take care of themselves as we move forward. And it, there's no reason to stress kids out or, or you get stressed out about that. Um, and we'll work on that together. So, you know, those are, those are a couple of things. Uh, you know, rumor control out there, uh, I can just tell you, I, I hear some of the rumors. You know, I, I understand there was some sort of a, uh, a uh, Final Four bracket for where people in this district will land in positions. Um, I don't know about that. Um, I, I, I think there was some, some thinking that just same old people were going to move into different positions, different seats on the bus, and uh, I just wanted to assure you that we're taking the time to interview everybody, both internally and externally, to make sure we have the right fit. So uh, be patient with us. We're going to get there, and I'm really fo looking forward to how we're going to move forward with the D51 learning model in the future. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning, as the case may be, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you.